Today we'll show you how to enter a customer, a new customer, and a reference ID or purchase number, um, and weigh a couple of pallets of material. The first thing we need to do is check that our zero is zero. So I lift the empty forks and then lower them down to our weigh position until we get a stable reading, which is zero. If we needed to zero, we could press the zero key to keep that at zero, but we're okay now, so we'll lift, oh, so what we need to do is enter the customer number's name, so I go add customer, and I could go um, Joe's store. Okay, okay, and if I wanna enter a, a reference or an order number, it could be P O five six seven three done okay now you'll see the customer is Joe's door this is his order number and this is the forklift so I'll go and pick up a load I'll weigh this new pallet load so I come up and then lower it down to our weigh position and when the weight becomes stable, I can add that. And now if we weigh the, the second pallet, we'll lift the same pallet in this scenario. So we'll lift it up again and lower it down to our weigh position. Wait for the weight to become stable. And we can add that. So now we have two loads at 500 kilos. If, for example, we want to subtract that second load, we could press the minus key and it will just take it back to the first lift. If I need a record of that, I can print screen, saves it to the gallery, and I can clear and get ready for the next load. So if I lower that down, we're all set to go for the next load. Find us online at loadsense.co.nz or give us a call to find out more.